Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from ThemeCo with another quick layout trick for y'all to try in your next build. So this particular layout actually comes from a website I found recently when I was just looking for some design inspiration and I liked this kind of subtle twist on this grouping of features but divided by these interior lines. There was nothing to the outside and you'll notice if I size everything down, I've only got these horizontal dividing lines. There's nothing over here. So as I was kind of looking into how they implemented this, they did pretty much what I think most people's first inclination would be, and that is they had some borders that they had added to each of these columns to the interior sides, and then they were responsively showing and hiding them using some media queries. And I thought that was great. I mean, the concept was cool, but it just kind of got me thinking because I'm always looking for ways where I can creatively solve these responsive challenges with less work on my part and just leverage the way the browser likes to render things. So it got me thinking about our new row and the gaps that we have. And I think you'll really like how I came up with this design and let me just kind of break it down for you. So basically we've got a section here with our black background and then each column has a matching color. So the same black and these interior, you know, air quote borders, these dividing lines here are actually coming from the background color of the row. And the row has a two pixel gap, both vertically and horizontally. If I take these away, you'll see that we have no more dividing lines, but I add in two pixels there. And now we've got this very subtle border that you can see as I change this background color, dividing those elements up. So what's really cool about this is because these columns are made to just fill all available space, when they do collapse down to one column on mobile, they're just gonna go full width and take away any of those vertical divider lines. And I don't have to mess around with custom CSS, media queries to get this particular look. And it's very flexible. I can simply come in here if I wanna make them a little larger, up that gap number, or I can bring it back down. If I wanna highlight a particular feature, I could simply reduce the transparency of the background of a particular column. And if I do want um, to have an outer border on this particular section, I could simply go to the row here. And remember, I've got this background color on the row. I could just add a matching padding to that row. And now I've got this outer border that will respond nicely as well. So just kind of a creative take on looking at a layout and saying, hey, how can I do that differently and make it just a little bit easier? I, I hope that this kind of inspires y'all to take some of your own personal design challenges and look at them in a little bit of a different way because there really are some amazing ways to solve these problems nowadays. Uh, it just takes looking at it with a little bit of a different eye. So I hope you guys have gotten something useful out of that. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to bringing some more videos to y'all very soon.